Hi guys, so today I'm doing a Gigi Hadid makeup tutorial on Ashley. She's a model from Newmark Models. I already have a Gigi Hadid makeup tutorial on my YouTube channel and a lot of you have requested to do it with drugstore makeup. So that's what I'm doing today. And it's basically the classic Gigi Hadid look with the winged liner. She always has a signature pinky, glossy, pouty lip. And I hope you like this tutorial. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. All right, so I'm starting here with Ashley. Here, this foundation is L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation, and the color is W4. This foundation gets really great uh, feedback, and I've tried it a few times. I really like it. Um, I'm applying it with this IT Cosmetics brush. It's a buffing brush, so I'm buffing the foundation into Ashley's skin in round circular motions. This foundation, I think a lot of people kind of compare it with the Giorgio Armani Silk Luminous. This is just a drugstore version, less expensive, but it really is really pretty. I tested it out last night and it's really beautiful on the skin. I'm going to do your brows. This one here is by Maybelline. It's called Brow Satin. And uh, I'm first going to brush up your brows a little bit just to kind of see what I need to do. And I uh, want to make them pretty natural looking, so I'm just filling them in, in light feathery strokes here in the front. It's really pretty, just a very um, natural looking brow. I don't want anything too over exaggerated. This is a Gigi Hadid makeup look, so Gigi always wears a very pretty full brow but natural. I'm going to also fill this part in just to create a little bit more of an arch. And then we can also drag it out a little bit more. Perfect. And then we can use a little bit of a brow gel. This one here is by Maybelline again, Brow Drama. And this has a really cool applicator, and you can see. And I like to, and it also has a little bit of a color in it. And I like adding that brow gel because it almost creates more texture on your brows and it makes them look fuller and it also will help your brows to stay put all day. All right, so after applying the eyebrows, I'm bringing in this uh, cream shadow and this one here is by Maybelline again. It's called 24 hour eyeshadow. It's a cream shadow. It's a really pretty bronzy color, kind of all over the lid. You can also do this by itself. I'm going to layer it with some eyeshadow afterwards. So we'll just put that kind of all over. Just gives a really pretty bronzy kind of shimmery effect on your eyelid. Don't bring it up too far. Perfect. I'm going to just use this more as a base. And then I go over with some more shadow. I'm bringing in another Maybelline product. This is an eyeshadow, Color Molten. And they come in two shades. This is like a really beautiful, like light, pinky, shimmery shade, and there's a goldeny color. So I'm bringing this lighter color on my MAC 217 brush, and I'm gonna bring this in the crease. Just go backwards and forwards, and this kind of breaks up that creamy shadow, just with a little bit of a lighter color. And then I'm gonna bring in the goldeny color right here on a clean 217 brush. And I'm going to bring that over the cream shadow. And now I'm bringing in this Maybelline Master Eyeliner. It has this really cool felt tip. Uh, Ico makes a very similar one like this, so I'm excited to try this out. I'm going to just start sort of in the middle of the eye in like kind of like sweeping motion. And then I want to just make a little dot. That means I want to end my eyeliner right around here. And then I go from outwards, inwards. 
and then I can kind of create it my own way. Now Gigi Hadid always wears a flag liner, sort of her, her look, and the rest is very natural and glowy and California feeling, but I love a liner on her, so we're definitely going to do the same thing. Open up. This is about a right shape for you. I'm also going to uh, do this. If you look over this way, I'm also going to make the open up a little bit, the inner corner, just very thinly. I'll color that in as well. All right, so I'm just going to do a little bit more to this liner. Close. We got the shape. I'm just going to perfect it. I feel like we could just extend it a touch more, bring it out a little bit more. And then I go inwards. Beautiful. Next up is mascara. This one here is by L'Oreal Volumizing Original. Uh, this is a classic mascara. This is black. It's been around forever. I've used this forever. I've used it on myself, on my clients. It's a really great mascara. I love the brush on it. it gives you a really nice volume and lengthening. Just try to go as close as possible to the lash line and then just kind of like wiggle it or drag it upwards. I did this off camera. I used this L'Oreal pencil and what I did is I just put it in the upper waterline uh, off camera. And now I'm going right into my concealer. Uh, I chose this Maybelline Concealer Master Concealer and I'm just applying that you really don't need a lot of concealer. I'm just doing a little bit of that on my hand. I'm using my beauty blender, my baby beauty blender. And I'm just putting that a little bit underneath here where you just need a tiny bit of concealer. All right, so I actually just switched it out. I used the beauty blender beforehand, but I like this brush a little bit better applying this concealer. I feel like it needs a silicone brush. I'm just applying it underneath your eye. It's a little bit light, but I feel like it just brightens your face. I'm also going to put that a little bit right here just to pop that area a little bit and right on the bridge of your nose for a highlight. And we can even bring it up just a tiny bit right in here on your forehead. And then you can go in with your bigger beauty blender just to blend that all out. All right, after applying the concealer, you need to powder it. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Powder. It's just a really light powder. It tests the trick, takes the shine away, makes your face look matte. Now just do this in the T-zone area. So I still want your face to be luminous, but just that T-zone area needs to be matte. Next product is here by Rimmel. I really love this bronzer. I've used this many times on myself. This is the number 22. And I'm just using that on a fluffy brush like this. Just roll it, take the excess off, and just kind of do it, you know, where the sun would naturally hit your face. A very natural way just kind of follow the hairline the temple on this side a little bit also you can bring it in the chin area I even like to sweep it over over the nose like that just kind of like where the, the Sun would naturally hit your face After applying the bronzer, I take the same bronzer on a smaller brush like that. And what I like to do sometimes is I like to bring the bronzer into the crease and it just kind of ties the whole makeup together. You can even like drag it out here a little bit. Now after that, I'm going right into a blush. And for that, I'm using here another Maybelline product. It's a really pretty pinky blush and I'm just putting that a little bit on the apples of your cheeks just to add a little bit more color. So this product here is by L'Oreal. Uh, it's another True Match Lumi product. Uh, it's a powder glow illuminator and uh, I really like this because you kind of can mix them all together. Um, I'm going to just mix those three colors. This is a bit dark for me so I'm just going to mix those three. And I'm going to put that on your upper cheekbone for some nice highlight and glow. 
and I'm also going to bring that down on the bridge of your nose and on the other side. It's a really pretty payoff. It's very just the right amount of shimmer. Now another thing I'm going to do with this product is I'm taking a little dome brush like that and I'm dipping it into this lighter color right here and if you look straight in the camera I'm just bringing it a little bit in that inner corner like a V, the reversed V. Just for some highlight right there and when you're being photographed it's like a really pretty way of um, just a really nice little highlight in the photo. All right, so we're almost done with this makeup look. Um, there's two more products I'm gonna use for you. I chose this Revlon, uh, it's like a chubby stick and the number is 105. This is actually an awesome product. I have this in a different color and I use it a lot on shoots because it's very that like effortless kind of lip color. Um, it looks really good on everyone. And uh, it's like a balmy kind of consistency with a really nice color payoff. So you just apply that um, like a lip liner and then you fill in your lips. And then I'm bringing in another product and this one is by L'Oreal and it's a really pretty lip gloss. And this is just to add a bit more gloss and just a little bit more color. All right, so I actually just decided that I feel like this look needs lashes. Um, you can totally do it like this. But I think if you want to like, you know, make it a bit more dramatic and if you're going out at night, you can add lashes, which I'm going to do one eye right now. I'm going to use the Ardell Demi Pixies and show you what one eye looks and then we'll do the other eye. Also, we just did this side and it looks so good on you. I never thought that these lashes these are actually quite dramatic, but they're perfect for you. And uh, now I'm going to do this side on camera so you see what I'm doing. Just placing them kind of in the middle. And then I'm tucking the sides in, the left side first, close as close as you can to the lash line, and I'm tucking in the corners. And then you need to let it dry, and then you're done. And then it helps if you push them a little bit in too with your hands or with the tweezer. Okay, now I just applied the lashes, they look so, flirty and sexy and gorgeous on you. It's just a great addition to this makeup tutorial. And uh, you're done, Ashley. I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs>